I'm Duncan Steele, and my work is in the area of quantum science and technology. In the future, as devices become smaller down to the nanoscale region, things change. And I'm looking at how to exploit those things for new applications, both in computation and in communications. One of our main projects now is to look at structures called semiconductor quantum dots. These are very small pieces of semiconductors. And we're looking at how to use these devices to do a new kind of computation based on quantum mechanics. These structures have the ability to do certain calculations much more effectively than ordinary computers like, like we have here. We can run conceivably uh, these structures at speeds in excess of 100 uh, gigabits per second and run thousands if not millions of these structures on a scale that is itself microscopic. One of the big diseases facing the uh, aging population in this world is Alzheimer's. And one of the projects that I work on is to understand the origin of neural toxicity in Alzheimer's. The challenge with understanding Alzheimer's is that the peptide structures that are believed to be responsible occur at very low concentrations and are metastable. They don't live very long, just a few hours at most. So it's very difficult for conventional biochemistry techniques to isolate these structures. With our lasers, we can go in and observe these molecules where we have managed to see individual peptides of amyloid beta binding to the surface and then identify what performance in the cell is being compromised by the binding of these peptides. The exciting thing about research in my lab is not only the uh, discovery of new knowledge, which is just an intrinsically exciting experience, but also the fact that the knowledge that we're working to discover will have an impact on society. Watching students who come in thinking that they may be limited in what they can do, and then finding out that there are no limits to what they can do except their own creativity and imagination, it doesn't get any better than that for me.